Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah, if you are new here, and today we are continuing the Legacy Challenge. So, <laughs> I swear, I, ha I have to deal with so many technical difficulties, but I, I guess this wasn't a technical difficulty, it was just my own fault. I filmed a whole episode of Legacy um, right after the last part because I really wanted to find someone from Max and I was just like really impatient. So I had filmed a whole episode and I accidentally deleted <laughs> my face cam for it. So luckily in that episode not a lot happened. We kind of just like worked on relationships a little bit. I tried to decide between Zara and April and I still couldn't decide. <laughs> and then the only other thing that we missed was um, Ren maxed her vampire lore skill. So she was just reading books pretty much the entire episode. <laughs> so luckily it wasn't a really important one but I just wanted to let you guys know just in case you see like some differences from the last episode. Honestly I am just like so happy I started this channel. You guys have no idea it has helped me so much with moving and stuff. It's really helped with me like feeling really homesick, feeling really sad all the time. It just like, it gives me a nice distraction and it does help that you guys are so sweet. Like, I, no joke, I feel like super close to you guys. So I just wanna thank you for constantly watching my videos, constantly having those notifications on and like letting me know when you like run over to my videos as soon as you get the notification. I just, it's just so freaking sweet. And honestly, I never expected this when I started my channel. So I am just filled with love and appreciation right now. And I just wanted to let you guys know. Anyway, <laughs> enough with the sappy stuff. Um, I'm just really excited to get into this episode, so let's get started. Okay guys, here we are back in the house. It looks like mostly everyone except Carlos is at school or work. And look, Patchy has decided to come alive. Finally, dude, it took you long enough. But yeah, he is now part of the family. You guys will be seeing him a lot. Um, and yeah, we have a maiden, a guard gardener. They're like really doing their job, which I really appreciate because... <laughs> Oh, nothing like makes me more mad than when the sink and the shower is like all dirty. I don't know. I just hate it. Okay, so Carlos, what are you up to? Just chilling in your uh, your broken CC. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're fixing this. We are fixing this. Um, I'm pretty sure that it is those pants that are making him stripey because in my 100 baby challenge... I put these pants on one of my sons and he immediately got the stripes and he wasn't wearing anything else that Carlos was Carlos is wearing in this challenge so it's gotta be the pants. <laughs> it sucks because I love those pants too. They're like my favorite. These ones right here, I don't know why, I just like them a lot. I think it's it's time to give everyone a makeover anyway. So yeah, so Carlos is an elder now so he should probably start dressing like one. So let's see his outfits. I think he can keep that one. Um, I don't know, this one seems a little too trendy for him, so let's, uh, find him something else. It's like, yeah, he's an elder, but he's still gonna be Carlos, so I don't want to find him something that's, like, too elderly looking, if you know what I mean. See, like, this, this shirt isn't bad. Um, I just, I want him to still be Carlos. So let's see what we have. You know what really bugs me about elders in this game is they never stop groaning and grunting and complaining. I know it's like realistic to elders, but like, geez, <laughs> do you ever stop? <laughs> Ow. Oh, that hurt. I'm liking the way this outfit looks. I wonder, should we take his piercing off, or should he, like, keep it? I kind of like it on him. I think I want him to keep it. <clears throat> Let's see what he looks like with wrinkles. Oh. Wow. That's rough, but, I mean, isn't that kind of, um, realistic? If I put wrinkles on him, that means I have to put wrinkles on myself, too. And I'm a little bit older than him, so there'll have to be worse wrinkles. When I, like, age up my Sims, I usually give them the forehead wrinkles, and then I give them th that thing. I don't even know what that is called, but where is it? 
Where is it? Where is it? This thing. I think it just ages people a lot. So we'll give him that. If we give him the forehead wrinkles, it gets rid of his skin details. And I want his skin details on, so we'll just leave that there. Maybe we can change his hair color to like a little bit more gray. Man, this hurts me to do, but like it's just, it it's realistic, you know? This is what happens when you get older. He can be like a silver fox. <laughs> I love it. I think that's good. We could take probably the hat off for all of his outfits and just keep it kind of casual. Um, gotta change the pants. <laughs> oh my gosh, no! <laughs> his belly is showing. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Let's give him gray pants and then like a sweater for this outfit. All right. There you go, Carlos. You're looking good, my dude. Looking very good. But let's change your sleepwear because I think it's kind of inappropriate. You just like strutting your stuff around in these little shorts. <laughs> so let's change that. <laughs> I love these bands. I absolutely love them. I think they're so cute. There you go. All comfy and ready for bed. All right, Carlos, you are all good. Let's move on to me now. Um, I kind of like my outfit still. Uh, this That one seems a little bit too young for me. I think we should just change the top on this one. Aw, this is really cute. I love this outfit. And you know what? I think that I have like an accessory that is a belt. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, okay, let's see if any of these work. Ooh, it does work. I think I'm a little too thick for it in the back, but it looks good from the front. I love that outfit, it's adorable. And then this one I have worn so much. <laughs> I think it's time for a change, maybe a button up? Oh man. Okay, and then let's have a look at some hairs as well for me. Um, I don't know if I want to keep this hair and just go lighter. <sighs> like a gray. <laughs> I can finally live out my fantasy of having gray hair naturally. Alright guys, that's good for me. So let's have a look at Ren now. Um, she, <laughs> her style, I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I love your guys' idea about making her girly, but with like casual elements. So let's see what we have <clears throat> as far as skirts go. Uh, so there's this one. Um, I love these pants. They're so cool. I love the skirt. I think we might go with this one. Oh my gosh, what if she wore something like this? <laughs> Maybe when she becomes a vampire, she can just like totally switch to like just something so cool like that. I like this jean skirt. I think that's adorable. It comes in all kinds of colors. Hmm. Let's work around this one. We're definitely going to keep her vans on and we'll just like uh, randomize for a top, see what comes up. Okay, that's really nice. I like that a lot. What about this one? I don't know, is it too revealing? Ooh, ooh. Okay, I like this. I like that a lot. Let's give her some nails. All right, let's give her another outfit as well. This one's just a plain hoodie, which I like. 
But I'm not sure if it's her style. Hey, that's cute. I like this. What other prints does it come in? Okay, they're all florally prints. <sighs> See, I'm looking for something a little more unique than that, if you know what I mean. Ooh. I love that. Okay, all right. So let's do one more outfit. Ooh, ooh, oh, that's broken. This is cute. This is really cute. About like a honey color. It matches her eyeballs. What is it, like too yellow? Mm. What about this like mustardy one? Ooh, yes, yup, that's it, that's the one. All right, let's just go with those. And then as far as shoes go, Hmm. I like those. Okay, we'll go with that. If you guys have any ideas uh, for outfits for her, let me know in the comments. Okay, and then Max, I kind of gave him some new stuff in the last episode that uh, didn't end up getting recorded or that I accidentally threw away. I just gave him a new hair. I'm obsessed with it. I think it looks really, really good on him. And I didn't, I think I like his outfits the way they are. So let's get on with this episode. <laughs> Long makeover. So you guys left me such good comments. Like I love the ideas that you have for this Let's Play. So you guys were saying that um, when Ren becomes a vampire, obviously she's gonna be, she's gonna be immortal. She's gonna live forever. So she's gonna be present in the legacy challenge the whole way through unless she dies from like sun exposure or something which i will not let happen excuse me mark my words <laughs> so yeah i think that's like really neat why are you always around like who are you stop stalking us anyway <laughs> so yeah ren is gonna be like a huge part of this let's play even though she's not an heir she's gonna be around all the time so i thought that was pretty cool you guys thought that she should be the one who will take over the gardening because she'll be max gardening and she'll just be alive all the time to be the gardener um and since she wants to be a good vampire at nighttime instead of like going around preying on people she will be going around doing gardening <laughs> which i think is super cute um uh what else i want to say so max's relationships with zara and april are kind of the same they're a little bit higher for april you guys were saying that just because zara isn't easy that doesn't mean that she should be thrown away in the garbage, you know what I mean? Um, April has always kind of been there, but she's more of a friend, I guess, and Zara is definitely the one that Max wants to be with. That's just the vibe that you guys were getting, and it's the vibe that I'm getting too. And Zara did win in the vote, so I'm gonna try my best with Zara in this episode, and if it doesn't work out, then I'm not really sure what we're gonna do. I thought about just completely scrapping them all and meeting someone new, but I don't know. That just seems like a lot of work and we're like running out of time because Max is almost an adult in nine days. So yeah, we need to get this show on the road. <laughs> so yeah, uh, since Carlos is the only one that's home, what can you do? What can you do to benefit the legacy? Your parenting skill is almost maxed out. This one, ooh, we're almost, no, not really, actually. Ooh, but you have a lot of satisfaction points. What can we do with those? I know that we need 10 youth potions just to be in, just to like collect, to have in Legacy House. Uh, so let me see if there's anything else in here that we can get that will benefit no not really so i guess we should just get another potion of youth and we can just put it over here um i should definitely do something with this little house over here i need to like make a just like make rooms for everything look at all this stuff in his inventory what is this onion <laughs> uh why does everyone have a hip to the hip to the max cardboard dance floor 
I feel like everyone in this house has had one. Oh yeah, we need to take a portrait of Max for his pedestal. And what else? What else? What else do we need to do? Do 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 do. What else do we need to do? Let's work on Legacy House right now, actually. Let's just like get stuff done in this episode. So I think it would be cool to have like this be the main room that you walk into and then have like different rooms coming off of that room for everything else so kind of like this is like going to be like the center room then you can walk this way to the fossils walk this way to the mice and trophies walk this way to the frogs walk this way to the elements all that kind of stuff so let's see let's see what we can do Okay guys, I got the shell of the Legacy House down. It kind of looks like a museum to me. Um, I think it would be really cool to have like these um, walkways so you could just like walk through the entire thing. But I think I might need a lot of the wall space so I'm gonna hold off on putting in more doors for now. I guess this room over here can be frogs. Um, how I want to display them, I don't know. I really don't. Uh, I like the shelf idea, but is it like, is it ugly? I don't know. I guess these shelves will have to do just for like the frogs. Cause I mean, frogs are cool, but they're not very important to me. So I can fit five, six frogs on each shelf. And since there are, how many frogs did I say? 25, we're gonna need like, five shelves I guess that'll like hold 30 frogs but should we just have them like this or like in a display there's a frog fountain <laughs> yes let's do that oh these shelves come in different colors Ooh. okay and maybe um, we can have like a cool uh like a cool jeez i don't know i don't know i don't know kind of like that this is more of like a dark silver than a regular silver Okay, we'll do that for the frog room, and then uh, what else do we have? What else do we have? We have fossils, which are f have 15. Mm, do we want to do shelving for the fossils, or do we want to do something different? There are these, which I think are pretty cool. I wonder how many fossils I can fit on this. Let's see. Ooh, I can fit three. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we can have fossils in a bigger room then, maybe in one of these. Okay, we'll just do that for now. Okay, and then we can sell this, I think. No, let's just keep it just in case we need it. 
Okay, and then we have the My Sims trophies, which I really like in their display case. So I think I'm gonna just keep them in there. Okay, that's good enough for that. Uh, what kind of flooring should we have for the fossil room? I'm taking a lot of time with this, I'm really sorry. Maybe just like a rock? That looks kind of cool. Or this? All right, let's do that one. For the My Sims Trophy, maybe blah, blah, blah. the My Sims Trophy room, maybe we can do something kind of funky. Uh, let's see. No, definitely not. That's kind of cool. Okay, we'll do that. And then what else do we have? We have the crystals. I think these are elements, right? Jeez, I don't even know. And how come these ones are on little, like, stands? And these ones aren't. Okay, so here's what I did for the crystal area. So those will be the crystals room. I don't know what this is. I have no clue. Uh, and we need another room for the... Elements, I think those are what I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting confused. <laughs> we'll just do this for now. Oh my gosh. Let's use, this is using like all of our money. Okay, and then over here will be the potion of youth room. Just put those there for now. And I think that's it. I think that's it for now. Uh let's just um do that. And then this room. I don't want the Sims to drink them. So I'm just gonna delete the door to this room. Yeah! Okay, so. I don't really like the black, so I'm just gonna change them to white. And then the flooring in here, we can probably have some like really nice marble. I like that. Okay, and then over here, the crystals. That's kind of pretty, but is it too bright? This is cool for like the alien room. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, I think we're done for now. Um, yeah, if I keep going, I'm just gonna like keep going forever. <laughs> so we have some extra rooms for um, new collections and we're probably gonna have to expand this house again later, but I think it's good for now. All right, here it is. I hope you guys like it. I think we can finally get into some gameplay now. Oh my gosh, that took me an hour. No way, oh no. A whole hour, holy cannoli. What are you up to? Oh, by the way, ooh, that's bothering me. Um, I got some rare seeds from from a packet, since I have level 10 gardening. So we got some birds of paradise. We got an orchid plant. We got some magic beans. I have no idea what these are or what they do. Can you guys help me out with that? Uh, we got a death flower. Not really sure what that is, but it says you can give it to the Grim Reaper. Uh, we got some tulips, uh, dragon fruit, and then we got some grow fruits, which are trees. So I planted them right out here. So kind of just waiting for everyone to come home. Carlos, why don't you give Nugget a bath? I'm pretty sure this bathtub is fixed. Yay, Savannah's back. And I just realized her name, her last name is Esparza, and I don't think we're supposed to change her last name. What's the last names of our kids? Campos... Can't, okay, cool. So that, the legacy last name will still go on. So Ren, what are you doing? You're going to sleep? Yeah, you're exhausted. Okay, Max, what's up with you though? Are you still at work? Jeez, what time do you get home? Seven? Look at that energy. Oh boy. That's not good. What's up, Patchy? Oh, one of you guys told me to lock Ren's computer. So I will do that. How do we do this? How do we do it? How do we do it? Um, how do we lock it? Hmm. Household? 
Nope. Look at all these things we can get. Plasma packs, plasma fruit seeds. Ooh, plasma fruit seeds. Heck yeah. Let's get like five of those. And then what else can we do for vampire? Purchase wolf's bane seeds? Okay, sure. Yeah, I would love to have some cool plants in the garden. Um, what else? Purchase 6M mosquito trap seeds. What the heck are those? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Alright, cool. Are you gonna go to bed? My poor game. I hate how badly it's glitching. So, do these have like specific seasons? It doesn't look like it, so we can just plant them wherever. Maybe Ren can have like a secret little vampire garden somewhere. Oh my gosh, look at our lot is almost fully fully uh, used. <laughs> There's this little area back here. All right, so we have wolfsbane. This flower is nothing special in its raw form. When used as an ingredient in food and drink, it will affect the nocturnally oriented. Interesting. Okay, let's come over here and plant some. This can be Ren's little secret vampire garden. Oh, wait, what's this one? What's this one? What's this one? Plasma fruit. The juice in this fruit has very similar properties to plasma. Oh, thank you, Patchy. Aren't you just nice? Okay, and this one, non-edible and hard to find. It is rumored that these seeds are carried by the mosquitoes who escape the plant's trap. Okay. What's this? Why is this all the way over here? Okay, we're gonna have to reorganize later. <laughs> Ooh, look at these little fruities are glowing. Oh, how cool is that? Thank you so much, Patchy. You are awesome. Let's give him a heartfelt compliment. Look, she has a dance floor in her inventory too. Can someone please tell me what that's from? <laughs> oh my gosh, these are all over the place. You're horrible. Okay, so it looks like you are exhausted from planting. And it looks like Ren is awake. Uh, she didn't really get that much sleep though. Ugh, what is with my game? Like, it makes it so hard to play. All right, Max, we need to get to work on your relationship with Zara. So, let's see. Carlos, why are you always in here? I swear, it never fails. Ooh, someone made cookies. Oh, it's too late for us to do anything. Dang it. Okay, no problem. I'm just gonna get Max to dance to get his fun up and also up his dancing skill because I want him to be a really good dancer. <laughs> Ren is going through a phase. She's having a bit of a mean streak. No! No, Ren, no mean streaks. You guys, my game. Oh my gosh. It's making me so, 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 so mad. I don't understand. Like, I tell them to do something and they just stand there. It is infuriating, I have to say. Savannah, did you max your painting skill yet? You did, okay. But we still need you to be in like, oh my gosh, you're almost gonna max your cooking skill as well. <gasps> Ooh, let's see what we can do. Let's see, maybe you should just watch the cooking channel because I know that helps. Let's see here, watch channel, watch cooking shows for ideas. What is this? Oh no, our gaming console's broken. Oh, repair it. It's going up, it's working. Why are you taking the trash out all the way over here? Oh, how cute are you? You're taking out Max's trash. That's very sweet. I love her with the gray hair. It's a look, y'all. It's a freaking look. It is. She's the trendiest elder I've ever seen. All right, girl. Let's get this up, please. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, no, no. No, you're not getting leftovers. I need you to cook. I need you to keep cooking so that your your thing goes up. Uh, what is this? Walleye surprise? Chicken stir fry? Ooh, tofu stir fry? Make that. That sounds flames. 
Look at her, she just tenderized the freaking meat, even though this is supposed to be tofu. I still appreciate that. <laughs> okay, I need to do something. I need to take out like my mods, or I need to take out some CC, because it's just like really making my game life. Ooh! Girl, you're supposed to have a high cooking skill. Poor? Oh, what the heck? That makes absolutely no sense. Who's calling? I'm starving. Want to grab breakfast? No! What are you anxious from? You're overwhelmed? What are you overwhelmed from? There's nothing you should be overwhelmed from. If you would just get to level 10... Oh, you need to reach 4 logic skill to get promoted. Okay, well once you reach level 10, I will allow you to retire. So you won't be as stressed. What else can we make? What else looks good? Minestrone. Oh, minestrone. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. Ah, lecture about barking. Please stop barking, Nugget. Ooh, Nugget has learned not to bark. Wow, what a good boy. Feel the love. Why would- I don't understand why sims make poor quality meals with such high cooking skill. Is it because it's like a difficult dish? Your social- just have a chat with Carlos so it goes up while you are watching TV. Ask about children. Let's see what he says. I am a parent. Shocker. Did you max that cooking skill? Nope. You can't. You can't. No. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. No sleeps. Really? Are you joking? My game is so stupid. Oh my god. Whatever. Oh, Carlos has a fame point. Good for you, buddy. Let's do networking. That's strange. I gave you a potion of youth, and your age bar is almost completely full again. Dang. That does not last. Ren is done with school. She's still a B student, and she's enraged. What are you enraged about? Watch TV with your dad. Hopefully that'll help you. He can do so many things to help with her anger. Ooh, level 8 parenting! Good for you, Carlos. Discuss angry mood. Lego. Are you still angry? Yes? Oh my gosh, okay. Just wind down with some classical. <sighs> okay, Savannah, you're up. All right, we need to get this cooking skill maxed because it's really making me mad that you're just like completely avoiding it. Ooh, fruit cobbler, apple pie. Let's do a dessert this time. Yeah! <laughs> Tungsten chef. No clue what that means, but good on you, Sav. I am so proud of you for maxing one, two, three, four skills. Four. And you can max your media production skill if you really put your mind to it. So after you're done with that pie... Why are you so on- oh, the hair, the hair everywhere. 50 bucks for each pile of hair. Just get a hairy dog in this trash can and you won't ever have to work. We need to go to... We should go to Forgotten Hollow and try to meet someone who will turn us. I still don't know if you are allowed to be a vampire as a teenager, but I guess we'll find out. I've honestly never been to Forgotten Hollow before. I have the vampire pack and I've done the vampire thing, but I've never like visited this area. So who lives here? Vatore, Caleb, Man Mandir, what's this? Why did I move him in there? That's random. Let's just go here. We don't have to go to her house. We can just be in the area. All right, here we are. It's kind of dark here, huh? All right, who do we got? Anyone? Anyone? Oh my gosh, look at all the crows and stuff. It's so creepy. 
All right, why don't you come over here and just play some chess and wait for some people to show up? Oh, here's one. Hang on. Hold the phone. Hold up. Who are you? Uh, you good? Zoe Patel? I don't think she's a vampire. Should we knock on someone's door? Who are you? Who are you? Oh, Vlad. Vlad, do you have earbuds in? Oh my gosh, you are such a hip guy. I don't know if I want him to be the one to turn us. I thought there would be a way cooler vampires. Who was that? Lilith. Hmm. Alright, let's just um, introduce ourselves. Very uncomfortable. We just need to know you. Enthuse about vampires. Discuss interests. She's a waiter? <laughs> Guess she's only on the night shift. Whoa, did you see that super speed? Okay, I think that's good enough. We introduced ourselves to a vampire. That's all we needed to do, really. This place is dead. Is that Vlad again? Yeah, okay. Let's go home. I can't remember, do vampires sleep in this game? Am I able to invite her over at like weird hours of the night? Let's try it. Lilith is sleeping. Sleeping my butt, I highly doubt that. It looks like our plants are ready to be super -celled. Let's get Savannah to do that. Our plants are worth so much. It's kind of ridiculous. Oh no, it's almost Savannah's time made most of these final days. Oh, Carlos too. Oh my god. That is so sad. You guys, I'm gonna cry. Ooh, look! Our grow fruit trees are sprouting and they're glowing. Wow. That's so cool. Sav, you gotta supercell these as well. When do you have work next? Six hours? Urgh. Oh, there he goes! He's got good dancing skills now. I'm so proud of him. All right, I want you to use the bathroom, go to sleep, and then I want you to take a vacation day and hang out with Zara, I think. All right, Max, let's get some food, and then... <sighs> what should we do? Should we, like, call Zara and chat with her? You guys said that if we do that... Send flirty texts. Let's give that a shot. I see you're in a good mood. Maybe we should head out and grab a drink. Yes! It worked! She asked us on a date now. Alright. Fingers crossed this goes well because it really hasn't been going well. I'm just gonna get to know her, um, get that green bar completely full, and then we'll try with the romance. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, Let's see. Share photos. What are some like really good things we can do with her? Ask about day. Joke about old times. Um, discuss interest, deep conversation, and then compliment her outfit. Where did that go? Here we go. Okay. All right. Roy. Let's see how it goes. Seems like it's going well. <laughs> Forney for Tozy Babs. She doesn't seem like that interested in him. Like the look on her face, she doesn't seem. Oh, okay. She looks pretty happy. Where the heck are you going? See what's happening? What are you talking about? See what's happening? No, 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 no. That is not what you need to be doing right now. 
Um, tell a joke about barnacles? Um, no. <laughs> Make her laugh. Make her laugh. Uh, let's tell her a funny story. Ooh, love days tomorrow. Yes. They're having a pleasant conversation. Seems like it's going well. Um, but let's just keep going. Uh -huh. Did she just leave? She just disappeared. What the heck? We try so hard with her. <laughs> She's like playing so hard to get and I guess that that can be worth it in the end. You guys are saying it's good that she's not easy, which I agree. So she just disappeared, so I sent her another flirty text and then she was like, let's go get a drink. <laughs> so we're trying this again. Cause she just like faded away like that one meme. Oh great. We're on that Solani. Uh, order drink for Zara. Let's get her something. I don't know. What happened? What happened there? Where'd she go? Did she disappear again? Dude! I am very confused about her. Like, uber confused. I'm just gonna invite her over to the house. We need to get this going, you know what I mean? Like, no more lagging, no more wasting time. Alright, she'll be right over. Good, good, good. Is she on Ren's computer again? Oh, no, but she's on her way. Oh, Polino. Okay, so she's happy right now, so that's good. Talk about dreams. Alright, let's go in with some flirty stuff. Embrace her. Nar, um. Uh -uh. Oh my God! Venosa Batanabe Zapula. I don't understand. She just she doesn't want to be with us. Like that's that. <laughs> Is she leaving again? Oh my gosh! Oh look who's here though. It's like no matter what we do, she doesn't want to be with us. Ugh, yes, invite over whoever that is. Who did she bring? Oh my gosh, girl. Girl, girl, girl. Girl, girl, girl. That's Kango. Oh my gosh, okay. Did Zara leave? Let's start a gathering. That way she can't leave. Alright, they're on the couch together. You have love, Abor. The noob! Dinks too oh. People just like appeared out of nowhere. Really, Patchy? Really? That's not cool at all. All right, let's try a flirt. See how that goes. All right, moment of truth. Please work. Flirting. She likes it. Okay. And then I told him to snuggle her. Oh, finally! Finally! Holy crap! Yes! Victory! Victory screech! <laughs> Finally! Oh my goodness! Yes, you guys! Oh man, it just took a little while, I guess. Aw, how cute! Look at her, she's all red now! Oh my gosh! We did it, you guys! We finally did it! Took long enough! Woohoo with her! She gonna say yes? Yes, queen! You guys, this is gonna be the first time for Max. Oh no! Savannah, no! Get out! Get out of there! Quickly! <laughs> Go! <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Please don't don't pee yourself while woohooing. 
Yay! Oh, he's so happy. Okay, use the bathroom. And then why don't you... Can you try for baby? <gasps> Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. And maybe we should ask her to move in. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, how do we do this? 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 Um, ask to move in. Okay. Savannah. Girl. No. Oh, no! Oh, okay. What's going on? So, sh he asked her before they woohooed? I assume that that's what happened. Okay, she can't bring any money. Who are these people? Oh, the I guess these are her parents. <gasps> and they just live with those people? Okay. Okay, just Zara. Yeah. Alright. Wow, you guys! Mm, 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 mm. Time to make a new heir. It's gonna be beautiful. I wonder how many kids they're gonna have until they have a girl. I'm very excited to find out. <laughs> okay. So, are you guys gonna try for baby? Chat, chat. No, I need you to try for baby with her. Please, April, get out of the bed. Oh my gosh, this is so sad. Oh my gosh, no. Oh my gosh, that was the saddest thing ever. She was literally crying in Max's bed because of them. Oh, he's like, oh, and I, oh, <laughs> just walking right back out. She was crying in Max's bed because of them, and then they were like, Hey, can you get off the bed? <laughs> get out! <laughs> Alright, girl. I get to control you now. You don't get to be mean. Oh, she wants to be a computer whiz? That's interesting. Let's see if you're pregnant. Let's see, let's see. She is... How exciting! Yes! <laughs> oh yay. This is awesome. Okay. Alright, we finally got that sorted. Took a while, but finally got it sorted. Let's end this gathering. April, please go home. Can we cheer her up? Let's discuss her sad mood and then ask her to be just friends. All right. Poor girl. Oh. No! What are you doing? That is not what I told you to do. Did she see that? Okay, no, she didn't. Dude, are you insane? Max, you're awful. You're actually awful. Oof, she did not like that. Oh my gosh. Jeez. This is rough, guys. This is so rough. Well, at least Miss Zara over here is nice and pregnant with the next heir, hopefully. If not, we're just gonna have to keep trying for baby until... <laughs> until we get a girl. The next heir is gonna be a girl. I'm very excited about that. And look, she's thinking about Max. How sweet! Okay, guys, I'm gonna leave this part right here. I've been recording for well over 
my limit. <laughs> so hopefully the file is okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you haven't subscribed already, please make sure to subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. And you'll never miss another video. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!